You've got dads. What in Maple Bay's number one youth minister for five years running, living in my hometown with my beautiful wife and our four amazing kids. If I'm not in church, you can catch me out by the open water, setting sail on the seas of adventure. I love playing guitar. Ooh! And crushing my kids at Candyland. Uh -huh. His turn ons are his loving wife. Shit, Captain. Feel good movies. I think I can tell what's gonna happen, but. Okay, we're gonna go on our date with Joseph and then we'll call it for episode three. I'm so confused. Is it gonna be like, we're gonna make a move on Joseph and then he's gonna be like, dude, I'm married. And then it's gonna be like that whole thing where it's like, just let it happen. Or is it gonna be like, things already getting bad with his wife and then he goes to us. Uh, his family's a little weird, but Joseph seems cool. I should take him up on his offer to hang out. Wait, how do I hang out with a priest? I don't go to church. Should I be Jesus-y? I imagine Joseph's family staring at me as I fumble through some sort of prayer attempt. Maybe not too Jesus-y. A light smattering of Jesus. Will he want me to pray? Is he going to pray at me? Do I have to pray at him? I'm talking to Joseph, huh? Yeah! No matter how many times have I told you not to sneak up on me like that? I selectively ignore it every time you do, Pops. Amanda looks over my shoulder at the screen. Joseph can't read your mind, you know. If you want to talk, just message him. She knows we're gay. But I've never been friends with a priest before. What do we talk about? My favorite Bible passages? Ice cream socials? Khakis? First of all, he's youth minister with a tattoo, not a priest. There's a difference? Ugh. You're overthinking it, Dad. Listen, just put it like this. Ah. Hello, neighbor. Thanks again for the invite to the barbecue. I'd love to hang out soon if you're not too busy. Isn't that a little too business casual? <sighs> fine, fine. Give me the keyboard. I got this. I'm gonna focus on the keys. Hi, Joseph. It was great meeting It was great meeting you and your family. I'm still new around here, so if you'd like, I'd love to hang out and get to know you. See ya. The smiley is a ni nice touch. It's so okay. Almost immediately, I receive a response. What do you say? Hi, Jay. If you're not doing anything in a bit, the kids and I are baking treats for the church bake sale today, and we'd love to have you over. It'll be a blast, so let me know. Joseph. Why does he have to add that? I know it's from you. He uses a lot of exclamation points. That's me. Hmm. So me. I'm more concerned about him signing his name with a tilde. I'm willing to let it slide this time. Oh. I respond back. Sounds like fun. Jay. Well, I guess I'm doing this. Mm. What? But I didn't see the response. Fuck. Save a brownie for me? Promise you won't sneak up on me anymore. Ah. Amanda stares at me. I'm blinking. I don't make promises I can't keep. Real to fault, Pops. <sighs> and Dad, please don't be weird about the religion thing. Me? Weird? Never. I make the short walk over to Joseph's. Don't be weird, Jay. But what if they hang up a bunch of crosses or collect those little porcelain babies? What if they're all praying? Do they pray before dinner? During dinner? Over the porcelain babies? The door begins to creak open, a shadowy figure obscured on the other side. Who's there? Uh, Jay? The door opens the rest of the way. It's Joseph's eldest. What's his name? Hey. Hey, um... Hi again, it's... I'm Jay. I know what your name is. Oh yeah, we met at the barbecue. How's the, uh... Please don't say it. Jesus? What the fuck? Chris blinks slowly. Maybe he didn't hear that. You're weird. Is your dad... Before I finish, Chris walks into the adjacent room, leaving me in the front door, front of the open doorway. Home? This was a great first impression. For a moment, I wonder if I should just go in, further subjecting Joseph's family to my winning attitude and artful charisma. Mercifully, Joseph, Joseph, he peeks his head through around the corner. I didn't understand that sentence. Jay, you made it. Joseph approaches with his arms wide. I'm so, look I'm so glad you could come by. Are you ready to bake? 
I am not. I'm as ready as they'll ever be. Uh, <laughs> That's the kind of semi-confidence I like to see in a baking assistant. Come on in. <laughs> Joseph leads me into a bright, spacious home full of nautical knickknacks. This isn't what I imagined at all. It's actually pretty charming. It is. I believe you've met Chris, who left you outside. Chris? Hmm? Are you going to apologize? Oh, right. Sorry. I tried to make eye contact with Chris, but he keeps looking away. He must be really shy. It's alright. Next time, just be a little more inviting to our guests, okay? Sure. I HATE HIS CHILDREN! Chris seems to relish a chance to escape the conversation and quickly vanishes into his room. Joseph turns to me ap apologetically. Don't take it personally. Chris likes to keep to himself. I mean, we didn't start off on the best foot in the world. Plus, being the eldest in a big family can't be easy. We try to cut him a little slack where we can. Ah, and here are the twins. Christian, Chrissy, say hello to Jay. Hello, father. Hello, Jay. Oh. Fucking creepy! Kids, come on. Dial it back on the creepy twin stick. Creepy twin stick? Can you two say, come play with us, Danny? <laughs> oh no. The chin stare up in unblinking unison. Come play with us, Danny. Oh, we got daddy points! I knew that was a good idea. Joseph covers his mouth and looks away, but he's clearly holding back a laugh. This is it. This is my dad world series. Okay, now say, please help us, Mothra. Please help us, Mothra. No, I can't take it. <laughs> Joseph is trying his best not to break it in front of his kids. The twins seem to be catching on and look eager to bust their dad. But can we keep it up? Oh my gosh, they're smiling! Go with something obscure. Something creepy. Now say, they all float down there. They all float down there, father. Joseph can't take it anymore. Despite his quiet protestations, he's laughing pretty hard into his hand and the kids giggle at them. The twins, obviously pleased with the new art arsenal of spooky weapons, leave the room to terrorize the rest of the community. My work here is done. I'm going to be hearing those lines for weeks. Next time we hang out, I'll try to teach them some lines from The Thing. All right, so it looks like we've got a little bit of troublemaker on our hands. You think you can out-trouble a career pro? I don't know about that. I am suddenly interrupted by a loud crash from the kitchen. What now? That doesn't sound good. Christy? No response. No one responds. Joseph furrows his brow, brow and motions me to stay where I am. Wait here a minute. Joseph rushes into the kitchen. I remember this with Amanda. Half of fatherhood is trying to keep your kids from finding creative ways to kill themselves. And he's got four. Talk about worry. I take a seat on his surprisingly pristine couch and twiddle my thumbs. It's a pretty sturdy wooden bookshelf. It looks handmade. Did Joseph build this? There's a big stack of what looks like travel magazines. Hyenas of the Serengeti, the underwater mysteries of the Antarctic, and on and on. Seems like Joseph really loves a good adventure. Unless this is a merry thing. Who knows? Next to them are a couple of different Bibles. Looks like he's covering all the Bible bases. King James, New American Standard, the Bible for Teens. He is a cool youth minister after all. On a higher shelf, there are a bunch of old romance novels. Judging by the wine stains, these must be Mary's. The newest one looks like Hot Body Johnson, Sex Detective, the eighth installment in. Wait, this is a series? Um, yeah, it, I would look at everything, kind of. There's a couple of cool knickknacks on the coffee table in front of me. Hey, a cross. I don't see it on the cross. I don't see it there. Hey, another cross. This one looks a little different. And a third cross. Unified design aesthetic. Smart choices. There's also a brass thing here. It looks like something a sailor would use to navigate with. I think they're called sextants. <laughs> Sex. Ha! <laughs> this guy's me. Examine the floor. Well, you have this many kids and things are bound to end up on the floor, no matter how hard you try to keep it clean. I spot a terrifying cloth doll that appears to have both arms pulled off several times. It's been stitched back together a lot. 
The tag says C plus C, of course. I set that down and spot a houseplant. Hey, little guy. Keep being you, the tiny houseplant. I spot one last thing on the floor next to the houseplant. It's a silver necklace. Wow, this looks expensive for something casually tossed on the floor. If there's a story here, it's none of my business. It's been a while. Uh, I guess I should go in the kitchen and see what's up. I walk into the kitchen to find Joseph holding Christy in one arm. She seems a lot calmer, calmer than she was a minute ago. I raise an eyebrow at Joseph. The twins are a lot more manageable when they're separated. Where's Christian? He ran off. Christy dips a spoon into the brownie batter and gives it a taste. Dad, it's too sweet. You're too sweet. No, I'm not. You're so sweet, we might have to water you down with spiders. No, not spiders! Joseph begins tickling Christy with his free hand. Between the laughing and squirming, I don't know how he's got, he, how he's got a hold of her, but that girl is locked in place. The man is a professional child wrangler. That was so cute. That was so cute! Christy fixes me with her best puppy dog eyes. Save me from the spiders! What would I do? I grab a wooden spoon and point it at Joseph's in Joseph's direction. Unhand her foul beast. Okay, Jay the Valiant, let's see what you've got. You may have defeated me at the tar Tarantula Ridge, but now I have the upper hand. Joseph gently puts Christy down behind him. Have you come to squash me, knight? Or have you merely fallen into my web? No mere fly, Spider King. No Ongar! For a minute or so, Joseph and I mocked duel with the two dumbest-looking spoons in the room. Eventually, I strike a killing blow in the invisible heart between his arm and his body, and Joseph recoils in horror. Damn it! I don't know what he said. Blast! I am defeated. You could never best me, Spider King. For now, I have. For I have the power of. I sneak a taste from the brownie batter. The magic. Oh man, that is way too sweet. Christy begins jumping up and down excitedly. My hero! Christy hugs my leg before making a surprisingly fast exit. Hey, wait! Do you want to bake brownies with us? Christy hesitates, then shakes her head no again. Sparkle Pony. Sparkle Pony? Joseph looks confused. You don't want to bake with Dad now? You want to play with Sparkle Pony? Yes. Okay, go. Before Joseph can even finish his sentence, Christy is out the door and down the hall. Ahead. Joseph sighs deeply as he stares into the chocolate batter. He tastes it again, face twisting. And this is that is still way too sweet. So what made that crash? Egg beaters on, linone on linoleum floor. It's my new techno single. Still haven't bought the B-side. Now we're both looking into the batter. It's got a sickly sheen of sugar and chocolate candies throughout. And I have a feeling Chrissy had something to do with it. We need a fresh start. Oh, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not really a baker, but... Don't even sweat it. The bag came with instructions that I have mysteriously vanished along with my daughter. So we'll probably be fine. Probably. Yeah, probably. He certainly looks confident. All right, Jay, you've baked a cake from a box before, once. How hard could this be? <laughs> now grab a spoon and get ready to rock. Mario Batali, save me. Joseph and I set to work, cracking the eggs and mixing the things, and then pouring the things according to how we assume the back of the box will tell us to. Things go according to plan, and soon enough, we have a solid batch of brownies. Phew! Wait, Joseph has a little dot of batter on his uh -huh. Wow, Jay, where do you use those dad skills? I bet you've baked a, a few box mixes in your time. His nose. Joseph. Oh. All we have to do is bring these to the bake sale and voila, duty done. <clears throat> For a pony that sparkles. Joseph, hold still. What? Thumb in position. And got it. 
Just as I go wide as I gently wipe the chocolate off his nose. Is he blushing? Oh, uh, th thanks. No problem. In less than a second, I lick the batter off his nose. I love it! Oh, in case any of you viewers didn't know, I am a Fujoshi. Judge of Romantica for the win. We should find Christy. Yes, yes, we should do that. Jay, Joseph quickly composes himself. I need, I need to compose myself too, because that was so cliche. All right, she can't be fired. Take that delta position and I'll watch your six. Do you even know what that means? Yeah. Alpha Tango Sparkle. Roger, roger. <laughs> Joseph starts making his way down the hall and calls back to me. Take the brownies and the rest of the stuff I baked earlier today while I get Christy. We'll meet you out by the car. Mm. It's also just hot in here. <laughs> Joseph, Christy, and I arrive at the church parking lot to find out tables and pop-up tents already set up. Looks like the bake sale is already in full swing. Uh -huh. Wow, this place is packed. Is this... Packed? There are a few people milling around. Must be a value pack. If you can count a city's population on your fingers and toes, this counts as packed. Point. Christy rocks, rockets out of the car and into the lot. Is she running on jet fuel? I want to sell brownies! Okay, okay, let's get set up. She's so cute when she's by herself. I want to see mom! She's down by the other row of tables helping out with another group. Want to go over there and tell her I said hi? Mom! Christy zips off immediately. Joseph seems unconcerned. Uh-oh. I can already tell that, like, that relationship... That's what it's gonna be, because this is Dream Daddy. Does she always run off that fast? Yeah, and I can only catch her half the time. These knees aren't what they used to be. I remember when Amanda was her age. I couldn't get her to sit still for five oh. seconds. Yep, great age to deal with. Well, Christy's gone, Joseph and I arrange all of our baked goods on the table and settle in. So, are we allowed to eat any of our own goods? Look, if I didn't, if I don't see nothing, I don't say nothing. The man upstairs has strong feelings about stenches. Ah, I love him! Does he actually? Joseph shrugs. He eats a brownie. It looks like some of the other stalls are selling drinks, little handmade crafts, and other sweets. He's like, I love this. Because I'm Christian too, so it's like, he's perfect for me. If only he was into Zelda! Whoa, someone brought a soft serve ice cream machine. I gesture to it. How are we supposed to compete with that? Uh -huh. Please, this isn't my first time at to the rodeo. The bake sale rodeo. Hmm. There's actually no rodeo here. It's just a bake sale. I think you and I put together put together can put can make one pretty convincing argument for these brownies, don't you? I reach for another brownie to stress eat my worries away. Joseph smacks my hand before I can grab it. Focus, Jay. Damn it. It's not long before- oh. No! No! I got negative daddy points! Can I restart? Oh shit, I'm gonna restart this later. Fuck. It's not long before we have our first customers. Hey, dude. Hiya. Matt, Carmen Sita. Great to see you guys out here. Happy to support a good cause. Plus, you know, as the owner and priority- pri proprietor of the coffee spoon, an establish that establishment that specializes in baked goods. I have to scope out the competition. I'm so shook by getting negative daddy points. Fuck. Joseph leans close to me. This guy knows his stuff. Stay on your toes. So what recipe did you use for these brownies? Don't say you use the box recipe. Don't say you use the box recipe. Let me tell you a story, Matt. The way they made brownies in the in the old country? Yeah, that was all thanks to Grandma Tennant. Travelers from far and wide would make the pilgrimage to her sleepy little town simply to be amazed by her masterful use of chocolate. All that knowledge, all that experience, it was passed on to me. Hey. Ha, sure. Joseph leans o over again to me. Lying is literally one of the ten things we try not to do. All right, all right, we'll take two. Actually, we'll take three. I ring them up high and high five Joseph as our happy customers walk away. See? Not so hard. Yeah, I'm hot off the good feelings from the bit last sale. Who's next? 
We sell brownies to a bunch of people I don't recognize, but who clearly know Joseph. Eventually, another familiar face pops up. Jay! It's Brian. <laughs> Brian. Close enough. Can we interest you two in any of our fine sweets and treats? <laughs> you sure can. I bet I could eat ten brownies. Must. Resist. Urge to be competitive. So we'll put you down for ten? Uh. Ha, better make it just two. One for me and one for Daisy. Coming right up. You excited for youth group, uh, youth group movie night, Daisy? Yeah, what's the movie? It's a surprise. Joseph leans over to me. The Fast and the Furious. Really? If you think about it, there's some heavy religious undertones. Joseph hands a baggie to Daisy. I made sure to give you guys the edges. Clearly the superior part of the browning topography. Thanks, Joseph. Our two customers walk off with their purchases. Joseph and I survey our stock. These are selling pretty hot. At this rate, we'll have enough money to pay for a new paint job on the church pews in no time. Wait, what happened to the pews? Ernest spray painted his rapper alias onto them. Young Steinbeck. Steinbeck. I would have gone for Youngman and the Sea, but I can respect that. Speaking in ministerial terms, Ernest is hard to reach. In father terms, Ernest is kind of a turd. Being a cool youth minister seems like a lot of work. It is, but it's worth it. Although, sometimes I wish... Never mind. What? It's kind of silly, but... Do you ever wish you could just drop everything and go lounge around on a beach somewhere in the tropics? Drink fruity, fruity blended beverages? Fall asleep on a hammock? You know, basically live out the Jimmy Buffett song. Joseph, I think about this every single day of my life. My dream is to live in the Margaritaville. One day, my friend, one day we'll be on island note on island time. We make a couple more sales to some more church patrons. Everything seems to be going smoothly. Off in the distance, I spot my old buddy Craig. Craig! He's gonna be a hard sell. Craig's a fitness man. I think he comes from the bake sales to test himself, to see if he has the result to refuse process, processed sugar. Are you sure you're ready for this? We go way back. I got this. Craig jogs up to our table with Briar and Hazel in tow. They're each finishing an ice cream cone, so it's unlikely we're gonna sell them on brownies, too. Probably won't be able to sell to the baby. She's impossible to read. It all comes down to Craig. Hey, bros. Hi, Uncle Joseph. Hi, Amanda's dad. Would you be interested in our one of our delicious homemade brownies? Hmm, I don't know. The tempting thing would give me bad points with Joseph. Hey, Craig, when we were freshmen, remember how our next-door neighbors pranked us by switching out our laundry detergent with dish soap and how we, the washing ma machine exploded with suds? And then we decided to get back at them when bake, by baking brownies by, for them, but sprinkling high-intensity hot sauce into the mix, and then we watched them cry after eating it? I would feel bad, but we had to clean up the laundry room ourselves. Anyway, these brownies are like that, but without the hot sauce. Maybe you should get one more, for good old time's sake. Craig thinks for a second. Well, the girls just won a game. You know what? We'll take one for each of us. Even River? I'll eat hers. Oh! I made up! I made it up! I made it up! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you! Jesus! Did you see that? We got some eggplants with some little squirty squirts in there. Yes! Okay, so maybe I won't restart. Maybe this is, maybe, maybe, maybe I can do this. The day winds down and we're pretty much out of the items to sell. Everyone starts packing up. Christy eventually comes back and immediately falls asleep in Joseph's folding chair. Box mix, huh? Give it a rest, buddy. Ugh. Fucking rude. Mary saunters up to us. She looks like she'd rather be anywhere else than here. Oh, hi, honey. Yep, they're selling these hot. Where's they're selling like hotcakes, which is actually they're just brownies. Cute. <laughs> and boring and safe. Um, hey Mary. Mary's eyes dart over to me. Uh, What's the rookie doing here? Uh, I was just hoping to introduce Trey to the rest- to Jay to the rest of the community. Hey. Uh-huh. You get a load of this freak show? What? Uh? Weird folk is all. Holier-than-thou types. Uh. Don't you think, Jay? 
Mary, let the kid answer the question. Uh, they, uh, they all seem like they're really excited to help out the church. That's pretty cool, I guess. Hmm. Mary, can we talk about this later? Give it a rest, buddy. Ugh. Oh, am I embarrassing you in front of your new friend? Joseph doesn't respond, trying his hardest to keep his cool. Can we please talk about this later? Oh, my God. Sure thing, honey bear. Huh? Mary turns her attention to me. Hand over the cash. Uh, hmm. Jesus, I'm not trying to rob you. I'm in charge of the funds here. I hand over the cash we've made. It feels like a hefty wad if I do say ah. so myself. Thanks. Hmm. Now give me your wallet. What? Ah. Give me your wallet. You think this church is going to fix itself? Oh. Mary. Ah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sorry, I'll work on the whole pretending to be happy thing. Mary leans in and whispers to me. Hmm. He's really good at it. Mary walks off without saying goodbye. Yeesh. Um, I'm really sorry about that. She's really, like, pushing your buttons, huh? Oh. No marriage is perfect. <laughs> you ready to head out? I didn't want to say she's pushing your buttons. I wanted to see. Are you okay? I'm worried about my baby. Joseph and I load the folding tables back into my car. Christy nods off for the moment. Uh, Joseph straps her into the car seat. Hey. I drop Joseph off in front of his house. A small yonk sneaks out of me. Hey. Looks like I tuckered you out, huh? You can tucker me out another way, though. Like, you should. I'm a sleepy dad. I think I might finally be crashing from all the sugar. Yeah. Ha, I won't keep you oh. up then. Thanks for helping out today. Happy to do it. Also happy to eat brownies. <laughs> well, next time I promise we'll do something a bit more exciting and a bit less free labor. And I'm very sorry about the whole thing with Mary. You shouldn't have had to see that. It's fine, really. I know, but first hangout domestic problems aren't a good look. You barely know me. Let me make it up to you next time. It won't be Margaritaville, but we'll do something fun. Promise. I smile. I like that. Oh, and one last thing. Joseph tosses a clean wrapped brownie through the window. It hits me in the face, but I'm able to catch it. It's the last one. You earned it. Joseph, please don't leave me alone with this brownie. Nope, too late. I'm already walking away. But, <laughs> bye! Joseph walks up to his home. He waves at me before carrying Christy inside. Well, looks like it's just you and me, brownie. Eat the brownie now. I force the brownie down my gullet, knowing full well that this will be my undoing. I will feel this later. Ah. Which is fine. I step inside to find Amanda doing homework on the couch. Eh? Hey, father unit. Hi, child that I'm required by law to take care of, to care for. How's homework? It's really fun and educational. Really? How long have you known me for? Right. How was the bake sale? Good. I think we. Re I really could have made a good life for myself as a brownie salesman. Glad to hear it. So, so what? Were there any extra brownies? Or did you maybe sneak one? Or... Sorry, kiddo. No dice. Mm -hmm. I feel immediate shame for scarfing that last brownie. Actually, I don't know if it's shame or just nausea from all the brownie, but it could be both. Mm -hmm. Shit. Ah, that's okay. Uh. <laughs> I'm a horrible father. <laughs> hey, if you're going, if you're not going to bed anytime soon, could you, could you be game for some real shark hunters of Orange County? I thought the last hun hunter got eaten by a shark. <gasps> he did. I sit down next to her and cozy up with a blanket. Awesome. All right, so we just had a first, okay, oh. Okay, so we got good on the leadership, good play. Oh my gosh, I don't know what any of this means. Is this good? Is rank A good? Welcome. You've got dads. Fuck. Okay, anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, if you liked this video, give me a like. If you're really into most of the videos that I make, including Dream Daddy, my Dream Daddy series, um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm so excited that we did our Craig and Joseph date.
Daddy as fuck! Alright. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll see you all later. Bye!